Now imagine a fighter aircraft flying in hostile airspace. There's a pilot sitting in the cockpit operating the fighter and just a few hundred meters away or a few hundred kilometers away there's a drone flying and the pilot sitting in his fighter is operating that drone to do what perhaps is too risky for he himself in that cockpit to do. It's called a loyal wingman system where an aircraft with a human in it operates a combat drone flying somewhere else using artificial intelligence. Well, here's the thing. India is developing its own. While fighters have been ripping up the skies over Bengaluru at the Aero India show, from India's own Tejas to the brand new Indian Air Force Rafale jets, there's something on the ground at the show that's exploding with even greater significance. Meet the CATS warrior, where CATS stands for Combat Air Teaming System, an Indian-made combat drone that's getting ready to literally team up with piloted fighter aircraft. Being developed by HAL along with a Bengaluru-based startup, these drones will fly alongside the Tejas, a combination that will provide to be deadly for India's air power. Uh, this is the combat air teaming system. Acronym is uh, CATS. CATS project is uh, done exclusively by HAL uh, for uh, both uh, Air Force and Navy and uh, in a uh, portion of that is specifically designed for army also. So now <clears throat> you have the uh, LCA Tejas new variant right on top. It has a lot of payload on the wings and at the bottom you have a big bird. This is called CATS Warrior. This is one of the biggest assets that the CATS project has. By asset I mean a machine on an aircraft. Okay, so the machine and man will team together and that will be called manned unmanned teaming. Okay, so there will be one Tejas and either two or four warriors in a team. They will execute an attack or they will fight against the aircraft which is intruding into the Indian airspace. Called a loyal wingman system, in practice, a Tejas with a pilot would lead an assault with these drones flying independently in networked conjunction. The stealth drones wouldn't just be able to defend the fighter jet, but also be guided to strike missions away from the fighter jet that would otherwise endanger the pilot. Armed with air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, these drones can destroy enemy targets. The fighter jet escorting three to four drones can guide these to hit targets over hundreds of kilometers away. A simulator shows how the missions can take place in real time. The project is still at a design stage, but is tipped to be a game changer for future warfare. Behind me is a cockpit of a mothership, okay, which is an advanced version of a two-seater LCA cockpit. But the concept can be applied to any other aircraft which is available with the Air Force. So this is used as a mothership to control the warrior aircraft, which are the unmanned aircrafts. So uh, the command and control system, uh, the data sharing is through the data link. And uh, based on the command or the mission assigned by pilot from the cockpit, the warriors will perform the mission uh, as per the requirement. The first prototypes are expected to fly in the next three to four years. Capable of evading radar detection, this drone's stealth capacities will make it even more potent. This is the future of air warfare. What we are seeing here is a CATS warrior drone which will be escorted by a Tejas aircraft according to plans and this CATS warrior drone will be unmanned and in situations where several aircraft are required to carry out a mission it could be possible that only one aircraft does the job with remaining unmanned vehicles. With the warrior, India joins a small group of countries testing such unmanned wingman systems like the Boeing ATS which was recently test flown in Australia and the American Kratos Valkyrie. The futuristic Indian program is set to leapfrog the Indian Air Force into the future. With Abhishek Bhalla and Nolan Pinto in Bengaluru, Bureau Report, India Today.
and we here at India today haven't been able to get enough of this amazing looking machine that's going to be flying in just the next three to four years. India today's Nolan Pinto was also one of the visitors who had a look at this drone. He sent us this report. These are the new exciting developments from HAL Stables and I'm, I'm very excited about especially the cat's warrior. So let me just show you once more what really happens. So the mothership is on top. So imagine that the mothership flies. You have about four uh, cat's warriors flying along with it. Now each of these cat's warriors uh, have the ability to actually carry two uh, missiles. In fact, as of now, they carry the storm missiles. And below is the bomb base. So basically, in, internally, it carries these missiles. So sort of giving it uh, some sort of stealth, uh, stealthiness uh, right over here. So the, uh, we are also told by HAL officials that in the next two to three years, one can actually see these cats warriors, especially flying in IF colors. We are all waiting for that. For India Today in Bengaluru, this is Nolan Pinto. This is uh, what is known as a manned unmanned teaming system, what we call the combat air teaming system. Okay. This has a mothership which is a manned aircraft which will operate from our territory. It, it, will, carry, it will carry ammunition, it will carry drones which are uh, armed and they will be launched from our territory and it will go to the adversary territory and hit the targets. The drones are carried in what is called a glide pod. The glide pod gets released from the mothership. It glides for around uh, uh, quite a distance and then it releases the uh, drones which are armed and the uh, drones go on further. Drones are propelled, they have warhead and they go point attacks. Absolutely amazing and you know who better than a fighter pilot to explain how beneficial and how futuristic and how advanced a capability of this kind will be in terms of India's air power. Air Marshal Anil Chopra, veteran Mirage 2000 pilot is with me live. Uh, air Marshal Chopra, welcome. Good to see you back here. Wonderful futuristic machinery. You know, I wonder if you had even uh, imagined if, you know, something like this was possible. You know, even when you were in the cockpit, you know, these kinds of technologies were in development, but now they've taken a shape and a form. And it's great to see that India, you know, through HAL and a private sector startup is building this manned, unmanned teaming system. As a fighter pilot, how do you see it, sir? Uh, Shiv, uh, thank you for having me on the show. And I must tell you that the future is clearly unmanned. And this time at Aero India show, other than the LCA, uh, the unmanned systems have been actually the flavor of the season. Hmm. Uh, you know, in the next two decades, Practically every mission, airborne mission, will be possible, including heavy cargo with an unmanned aircraft. Yeah. Uh, already we have got surveillance. Already we have got the uh, you know combat drones which are uh, firing weapons from the air, identifying and uh, their targets and uh, doing pinpoint uh, accuracy. Now this combination that you're talking of in cats that you have just told us is a combination, it's a teaming between manned and unmanned aircraft. That means there'll be a mother aircraft who will be controlling a large number of drones. Yes. Uh, could be more than a hundred drones. He'll be, these drones will be of different sizes. Uh, remember, there are some advantages which the unmanned aircraft have. Uh, you know, they are the best for uh, dirty, dull and dangerous missions. What is dirty is when you are operating in nuclear or chemical environment. What is dull is boring, long, recce mission. Mm. And what is dangerous is when you're in a contested uh, air space where there's a high risk of uh, some SAM or some airborne aircraft shooting you. So in this combination, the main aircraft is coming behind. He has already, they are, the drones have been left ahead. The drones are being controlled. He's assigning targets if required, changing targets if required. And that is how this uh, great combination is going to work. I'm so happy that, uh, you know, India uh, is developing a large number of unmanned systems. Yeah. The aircraft is going to have uh, the Hunter, uh, uh, you know, missile, the Warrior, the ALFS, uh, that is the, uh, you know, the Swarm drones. A large number of things are going to happen uh, with this combination. And LCA, which is our own aircraft, is the best uh, to develop this because we have in-house uh, 
uh, knowledge about the systems on board the LCA. Uh, Marshal Chopra, you know, uh, 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 flying a fighter plane as you've done for thousands of hours is no, is no cakewalk. It's a difficult thing. It's very demanding, requires a lot of attention. Uh, uh, you know, there are many, many risks. When a, uh, when a fighter pilot is flying in a fighter and uh, needs to also control a drone of this kind in this man-unman teaming system, does it increase the workload or does it actually free up the pilot to do other things? Yeah, I must uh, tell you, Shiv, that when the Americans who were the first to and the Israelis who were the first to use the uh, drones in combat, mm. all the uh, drone operators, even though operating from ground initially, were all fighter pilots. Yeah. Even Indian Air Force, when we started the, the UAVs, we had initial uh, controllers were all uh, ex-pilots who were either medically down or had been uh, sort of for some other reasons were not available for flying. So this is the concept that is. So therefore, it's important to have a fighter pilot first because his whole knowledge uh, is very good. The second uh, thing is when actually you're flying, the uh, aircraft has got its own uh, autopilot and other systems. If it's a twin-seater aircraft, it will have a WSO who will be able to uh, control their drones. So as far as workload is concerned, as far as uh, the cockpit is, uh, fighter cockpit is concerned, a large number of systems, duties have been taken over by computers. Yes. Uh, subsequently, the artificial intelligence is going to help in uh, uh, this whole exercise. So the workload, while it's increasing in the cockpit, but many other systems are taking away the workload of the pilot. So I think uh, th this will not be an issue. Okay, this is going to be incredible. So much to look forward to. The Indian Air Force truly leapfrogging in terms of capabilities. In three to four years, the machine you see on your screens is going to fly for the first time. It's going to be proven and it will be flying in a teaming combination with manned fighters. It's incredible, but the future really is now and India has proven it's not going to be left behind. Air Marshal Chopra, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for giving us your time and explaining the importance of such drones in air power going into the future. In fact, speaking of air power, uh, we showed you the drone. Well, the aircraft that's going to be controlling this drone with a pilot in it had BJP MP Tejasvi Surya today flying in the light combat aircraft in Bengaluru. There you see him after his flight in the indigenous jet. The BJP MP flew the LCA Tejas along with a pilot in Bengaluru where Aero India is currently underway. India Today's Nolan Pinto spoke to the Lok Sabha MP after his amazing flight. Listen in. How was that experience? <laughs> truly meditative, truly exhilarating, Nolan. Uh, you know, when you're at that uh, height, mm -hmm. flying at supersonic speeds, at, you know, uh, 4.9 uh, G, 4.5 G, the gravitational pull, you know, you're going against it, blood, uh, you know, draining down, and um, the respect that you have for our uh, men and women in uniform, our fighter pilots, just goes up a notch uh, higher. They do this in and out every single day to protect our skies, to protect this great nation. So I was just filled with uh, a lot of gratitude, a lot of respect for these amazing uh, superhumans. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.